Good morning! We have a couple new things today. One, there are now captions on the stream. Woo! <laughs> and then I had to move my camera around a little bit. This, this guy up here, the art cam. So I'm hoping that's all lined up properly. <laughs> And I'm a little quiet for the captions, so it's not going to capture perfectly, but hopefully it does an okay job. <laughs> then I went to Half Price Books a little while ago. And got some cool stuff. Some like little tutorial things. So, today... I want to try and do one of these and we'll get some actual art practice in. It's got like little step by steps. We're gonna try to paint this very cool woodland scene that they got going. Because I have trouble with like layered greens and stuff. So that that's the goal today is to figure out kind of how to how to make one of these. I'm not exactly sure where to put this. Might end up like over here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I did forget to grab my water. So I do need to do that. So one second. water. Step one. <laughs> Alrighty, so I don't need a paper quite as big as I have, so I'm gonna cut it down. I think like half of this would be okay. That'll be plenty big, I think. I think I want to tape it down because I love the way the border looks. If we can get this to be a manageable size. a little better. Right. Don't need the scissors. For now we don't need the other half. Now do I want to do like landscape? I think this is more vertical than that. Let's take a peek at what we can end up with. Yeah that's pretty vertical so we'll, we'll try vertical. Okay. Tape the sucker down. see most of that? Yeah, I think it fits. You can see most of it. That'll be good. Hope everyone has enjoyed their weekend. Almost over now. Oh, maybe with this one I won't stick my head in the camera as much. That's nice. Should have been doing this from the beginning. I say as I think my head went in the camera. <laughs> there we go. Next time I think I'm gonna get thicker tape. This is a little skinny for what I want. I have to be real careful with the edges. There I think is good. tried a new art or craft project this weekend. I'm pretty psyched about this little woodland tutorial. There we 
Antarctica. Should be plenty long enough. Not oh, too long, I think. <laughs> That's all right. And about there looks good. I went to yoga this morning. I hadn't done that for us in a hot minute. I've been skipping my Sunday mornings. I still have my, my messy yoga brain going. <laughs> Get our paint open here. Come here. Alrighty, and let's see. What oh, does it say that we need? Okay, so it does want us to mask out our trees, and I don't think I have the appropriate things for that. <laughs> Maybe I could tape it. <laughs> I think I could tape it. I could tape some rough tree shapes. And the grass is at the bottom to not do the flower heads. What do you mean don't do the flower heads? How do you do that? Uh oh. Okay, so it's not gonna be exactly as we wanted it to be. What? <laughs> I do have an X Acto knife here. Maybe that would help. Ask out the bushes? Hmm. Uh, let's see. And then what else do we have? Uh, let's see here. Pat brushed down. Doesn't it ever say to like remove the mask stuff? Maybe that's towards the end here? Oh, it's step 20, remove the masking fluid. Hmm. Any more? I think we could just use some tape. All right, I'm gonna try to use some tape. Alright, okay, so there's like two. There's only like two. You can make tape work, right? I'll make it work. Stay. All right, let's see here. So, <laughs> do they go all the way up? I don't know if they go all the way up. Um, look at the more finished ones, see if they go all the way up. I mean, no, not all the way. Let's blend that in. Oh, those do kind of go over. Mm, it's my 20 minutes. I can't remove all the. I see. Okay. There's two of them. They start like here and go skinnier as they go. Okay. Oh boy. Mm -mm. They're like. Bearish. It's a vaguely tree shape. We want it to be a little skinnier at the top. We're just gonna make a big old tape mess here. It'll be alright. It'll look like a tree when it's done. That's what matters, right? Just the, the fun end result. I do have some scissors, let's see. want you to be a completely straight edge, just not very tree-like, right? Uh-oh. Tape everywhere! It's been such a messy day. I did not realize. I was not prepared for a messy day with tape. Let's see. 
how do we get this one to be a little messy too? Just cut little tiny bits out of the sides. This is going to be the strangest looking tree, you guys. <laughs> but you can't say we didn't try. Alright, we have a slightly skinnier at the top, bigger at the bottom shape. Let's make it like bigger at the bottom slightly and we'll add more more roughage to that edge. Okay, so let's do this one. Come here. Give me some of that edge roughage, please. <laughs> Too small, come on. <laughs> and a little bit more. Cool. Alright, and then we'll make that kind of blend in, I think. Oh, maybe this way. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> gonna have so much tape all over. My scissors. At least these aren't the nice scissors. <laughs> okay. That's too much. Come here. How about that? Like that? I'm going to go in a bit. So it's got some fun edge. Yeah, fun edge. Okay. And now the other side needs some fun edge. Man, this isn't gonna look like anything until I start painting. Oh, that dog's going crazy. Lucy, why you do this? Why you be that way, Lucy? the dog noise that was happening. Come here. There's gonna be some like little like wavy bits here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, that looks more like a tree now. Oop, not like that right there, though. Oh no, that's fine. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so curious to see what this tree's gonna look like. <laughs> the street's gonna look like, oh silly captions. I know I slur, I'm so sorry. <laughs> So next, uh, we have one more tree. We have one that comes down here. And then we add some thickness. One more. Yeah, about right next to it, I think. They're going for. Oh boy, come on, rip. Oh, tape. Come on. You can do better than that. That's better. Hi, socks. What you doing, little baby kitty? Am I not so baby kitty? Oh, tape down. You being a menace? No being menace. Like mom. Menace is like my middle name. Why would I not be a menace? Wait, did it pick up the word menace? Okay, it did. Okay, 
just don't want these to be completely straight. They won't look like a tree. Right? Please don't. I'm gonna have some fun going on. Oop, that's too much fun. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> too much fun. I take it back. <laughs> Rack tape, you are just. I've always said tape is my nemesis. It's gonna do what it wants when it wants. And it's not gonna be what I ever want it to be. On the bright side, we have a lot of these fun, weird looking edges now. We can kinda tape back onto here. They work. <laughs> Look at you, you can be down here. need a little more. More than that, please. Uh oh, get out of here. Window stuff. Oh, there's my boy. Hi, Socks. to join me in my painting. Oh, I see you brought your brother as well. Do I get to have kitties today? Sometimes I don't get to have kitties while I paint. So today might be a kitty day though. Um, oh. A raid from Zilla. Party of seven, thank you so much. What were you guys working on today? Let me get my shout out going. I was lurking on my other computer. So you've moved on from butterflies. Greetings! You've moved on, I'm guessing, from the uh, the school one, the destiny? What was on the agenda for today? I'm trying to follow a step-by-step -step tutorial so I can learn some stuff today. But I've already messed it up because I don't own any masking fluid. So we are making some fun little shapes out of tape. <laughs> and we're making it work. <laughs> and hopefully it'll be a more organic shape than what we started with. I think we're finished with that part. <laughs> Another Destiny one. Ooh, that's cool. Hand me our tape. Okay. A little tape pile happening. But I went to um, Half Price Books and I got these cool, like, kind of tutorial things. So I'm going to try and do this one. I'm hoping I'll learn some new stuff because I have some troubles with, like, like big sceneries and stuff. So I'm going to try it. I wanted to try and practice it, so I figured why not stream it. Okay, goodbye tape. We can actually start painting some stuff now. <laughs> Alright, we've masked off our two little trees they wanted us to mask off. You love the closed captions? I'm hoping they're working out well. I'm a little quiet for them, so I miss some of this stuff, but they do pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so what are we gonna do? Excuse me. So we're going to mask our trees. And the grasses. I'm not masking the grasses. I just won't paint there. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, using some sort of fancy brush. 
Wet into wet. Stipple. So green and yellow. Okay. Blue and yellow and then green. Okay. Jesus. Water in our stuff. I'm so loud so it works for you. <laughs> yeah, I ended up using a website. Um, webcaptioner.com and I got to customize the colors and stuff so it can kind of match the the stuff I have in the like about me section. Well, thank you so much for the lurk. Enjoy cleaning up. <laughs> and thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. I think it's my second raid <laughs> that I've ever had. Oh, second raid. That's funny. <laughs> second raid captions. Raid. There we go. There, I got it. You used to have it? Mm, maybe some of that one too. Okay, what else? I'm, I'm gonna need purple eventually, so let's just put some water in that too. Turn to the background. Oh, my mouse is in the way. Green, so you could use chroma key. Oh. Oh, red and green? Background green so good. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I haven't messed around with any of that stuff. Okay, so it wants blue kind of in the middle. And then it wants yellow around it. And then green. Okay. OBS Studios had its own. So I tried to turn it on and I couldn't really get it to work. So I did try yours first. But I, I didn't know why it wasn't working. But this one seems okay so far. The first stream with it. So we'll see how it does. Wait, it says working wet into wet. So does that mean I need to wet my page? I'm guessing that's what that means. So let's do that, shall we? Alright, trees. Do me proud. Oh gosh, okay. Let's just some water uh, on the page a little bit. Uh, oh, yes, thank you, Stream Elements. We will be running a minute 30 of ads every 30 minutes so that people coming in don't have any pre-rolls. I don't know if people hate pre-rolls. But, I mean, we're not going to do anything that interesting that time. We're just sitting here painting. You're not going to miss anything. Okay. Ugh, kitty fur is already strong. Come on, kitty fur. Have some blue in the middle. Some blue in the middle. Okay. And immediately there's another fur. Oh my goodness gracious. Out with you. I banish thee. This must be really furry in here today. Kitties, were you running around throwing furs places? Constant struggle. Dapple. Okay, I'm dappling. Does this look like dappling? I think that counts as dappling, right? Get dappled. Blue cop in the middle-ish area. I think my page is a little skinnier than his. We might end up a slightly different looking thing, which is fine. Okay, you've been dappled. Now what does it want? It wants yellow around the outside. More dappled. Okay, we have some yellow here. Will this work? Is this an acceptable yellow? Seems like an acceptable yellow to me. And it has more of that around the outside than the blue. Get dappled yellow. Oh, it's so light. Up. 
look like sunlight, I guess. Okay, we have our, our dappled yellow. And then what did you need? Surround this. I surround with sunlit green. What do we suppose sunlit green is? Hmm. Okay, so start with the light and then introduce darker stuff. So I guess this one first. Because this one's pretty light. Looks like we're still dappling. Is this like more of like a squarish brush, it looks like. Maybe we should try that. I never paint with that big brush. I always just want to put things down with it. Or get cat fur out of things with it. I don't like that. Sorry, not happening. Not a fan of that brush. For this particular exercise. back over the same kind of area. Just mostly up high, it looks like. Oh gosh, this really soaked up the, the stuff here. And over it, like that, I guess. Okay. Green. Oh, I'm out of the green I like. That was quick. Uh, am I supposed to go completely over the blue? I guess so. Maybe I am. I'm not convinced this is going to end up working out. <laughs> Alright, and then like into the yellow a bit. I guess he goes completely over the blue. Alright, try that. Out of that green, you like. So add more of it while I'm oh, thinking about it. And I want a decent amount of pigment, so. This one, come here. I do like this green. <sighs> I use you enough, that should be good. Don't you do it. Hey. Oh my god. Cat. Fox. Get down. No. No. Get the mouse. Pesky pesky boy. Hey, I thought I disabled the Pokemon game. Guess we're still playing Pokemon somehow. As if by magic. Like you try and quit me? I don't think so. We will forever have Pokemon. Okay, what does it want me to do? Continue working, introducing darker shades. Allow to dry? Uh oh. That's not good. So, we need a darker green. Maybe I can use a smaller brush now. I'm digging away. Let's use this guy. This is a darker green, right? This counts. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's like supposed to be some like branches and things here. 
or something in the general vicinity. Boy. See, I'm trying a tutorial because this is not my forte. Yeah, make them like little uh, bubble things. Okay. Make little bubbles. Because they just need to go back up into the... You add some at the very end of the top. Mm hmm. Should have taped some branches into my, my big branch trees, but I didn't know. Like little bubbles. Okay. Like that? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to let this dry though. far down these trees am I supposed to go? I don't know. I really like this green though. I have more of that. I am a fan. as bubbles. I mean, I guess it doesn't actually say bubbles, but they look like bubbles. Like little roundy kind of cloud shapes and such. I guess it is supposed to be lighter at the bottom. It looks a little lighter at the bottom. Over the top. It looks fairly dark at the top. so long to dry. I've added so much water to it. Oh no. I might end up with like a little side project. So we don't have to completely watch the paint dry. <laughs> um. Okay, and then another darker one. in like this? Maybe? I mean, the different layers look cool. I'll give it that. Oh, that was a lot. It didn't look at me. But is it actually going to look like anything when it's done? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to look like anything when it's done. I guess I did want to try like a looser watercolor style, and here we are. We're definitely trying it. I don't know, is that good? That's probably good, right? That's probably good, right? Alright, and then using... Allowed to dry. Okay, now what? Allowed to dry? I don't got time for that. Allowed to dry nonsense. <laughs> uh, so what's the next step? Using blue and a little bit of green. Paint, paint tree trunks into the mystery, misty central. I was supposed to leave a misty central area. The whole thing's misty. So like that maybe? Oh boy. Misty central area. Are you supposed to have less paint in the middle? I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, misty central area. Sure. Sure, we'll go with that. So we're gonna be painting little like... Oh, one 
that's kind of in the background that are bluish. And then middle distance, olivey green, kind of. And those will go down to like here. Paint the tree on the right with a mix of burnt umber and olive. Add details. And then paint path goes around. Okay. Path around. What's this path supposed to look like? Let me see. Yeah, I added a lot more green than he has in this final one. <laughs> That's alright. Looks like we can maybe start the path now. Because then he kind of paints around the path, it looks like. Then he adds the shadows later. Let's do that while we're waiting for this to dry. Let's start our path. I'm gonna come like here and then across and then it won't look exactly the same. Toes has got cold, time for some socks. Uh, let's see here. Excuse me, so I think that should be like my water is pretty green. I'll have to replace that here shortly. Maybe some of this color would be good. Do this like brown. We want like a lightish brown, I think. That should be good. The lightish brown color. my water because it's very very green not that bit much so I'll be right back some tea. <laughs> How do I want this path to go? Maybe like... Here. He has his going kind of... I think ours is gonna look a little different here. I do like it coming from this way and then going around and over. I'll have a few less curves, I think. Yeah. Here's our light brown that we made. Yeah, that'll be a nice color. Is this pencil or what is this? I don't know what I got on my paper. Quite 
quickly here. Maybe you like that big, maybe? That big might be good. Hopefully we can make that into something cute. Put more of that up here, up there. You need to be darker. Have our path. He yeah, has like some splotchy colorness in there. Splotches. We are trying to be a tad messy. Hmm, okay. We have. <laughs> we're not even close to being dry. <laughs> oh no. Because I'm supposed to then draw these little faint blue guys. And the bottom's kind of dry. Maybe we can come back to that. And we can skip around a little bit. Keep the system. What's the next part? We want a soft wash in the background for our flowers. Okay. Oh, but that's supposed to be kind of like after where we know where our trees are ending. Because I want it over it. I mean, we can just add some purple. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, how soft is this wash? This is very dark, I feel like. I think you are too dark to be called a soft wash. Too dark. I need something lighter than that. Maybe I can add some water first. Just start here. Meet up with our path a little bit. Go up here. And then, like, down, maybe a little up again. Yeah. Oh, we lose our music. We lost our music. Time for new music. And in between the trees and up here, that will work. The softest of little purple washes. Yeah. Like a hint of purple. Definitely more purple than blue. That's okay. It's our little fantasy. We can make the flowers whatever color we want them to be. Got a little water on you. Can I lift that? I don't know if I can lift that. A little bit. Okay, we have a little bit of purple. With a stronger mix, add dark to further inline. Okay, so then we add more here. Okay. 
kind of looks like a this motion. Add strips below the fillet blue veils in a pale green. Okay. So make sure we do this. We add the add some green. Okay. I want some more purple like up here. Okay. All right. And on this side too, I think. At least I want it on this side. A little bit more here. A little darker, please. Okay, okay, okay. It could be washed a little more, I think. Yeah. Um, and then what? Green bed? Some green, okay. Like this dark green? A little bit like... Not as thick, okay. We can do that. Alright, and that's like just below them, kinda. And along our path a little bit. Like, let's some of the white be there, which is odd to me. But alright. We can play that game, that's fine. And over here. And in the middle. There's not really any up here or something. And then here too. All the way to the edge here. Maybe a little more color. It's so pale. Okay, so we have some green here. Now what's next? Uh, add strips of glass, blue blah, thing. Okay, pile of brush armor onto paper, darker blue bill mixed for further blue and closer faster. Okay, so then we do another layer of purple. side over here. <laughs> okay, we have our darker purple there, and we need one like this way underneath our tree here. And then I kind of does like this little hill. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Let's see. Uniform than that. There we go. Okay. Work wet and blend the sunlight green into the blue bell strip. Okay, so we need a brighter green. Brighter green. Like this guy? You're a bright green. Uh, 
Are we supposed to have like... Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just not gonna do that. That's okay. <laughs> it doesn't really blend. I'm not sure what he means by blend. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> Okay, this I do, I guess. My socks. Just gonna fill the rest of this in. You looking at my new book down there, socks? Oh, it's pretty cool, huh? Okay. Um, it doesn't really blend. I'll extend in with some brown. Okay. Add brown, that's fine. Use the brown in the corner. Okay. We have brown. Okay, I'll put a tad over here too. Brown. Give me a brown. Brown. Okay. Uh, add bottom paint with my great wet into the forest floor. Add to the painting. Hey! Don't kill my curtains. Bad boy. Okay, and then it wants the dark green again? The very bottom here. Alright, if you say so. If you say so, book. We'll try it. stuff I'm working with. Not like that. <laughs> um, okay. That's really dark. I don't have anything that dark in here. You need to be more dynamic. This looks just awful. You have to go through when you're dry and add something. That is just a boring color. There. Is that a little better? That's a little better. It has like this really dark brownish green. And that's not cutting it. So let's see if I can make this like a dark green color. Or need like a blackish green. Spilled my green. Ah, get back in there. Back in your hole. How did you get in there? Come here. It's being sloppy. No. Okay, then let's try a little bit of this too. This one. Yeah, that's more like the ugly green color they have, right? Weird, dark, ugly green. <laughs> You're a weird, dark, ugly green now. Yeah, that looks better. That looks a bit more like what they got going on in here. This weird, like, ugly brown green thing. Make it the ugliest green you can think of. Okay. I shall. And contrails around and move down a bit. Yeah. Like that? Looks a little better already. Come here, ugly green. I'm gonna make everything better.
It just looks like a better color for the picture. It's a little less washed out. For some reason. There. That's much better. Okay. And then it wants like... He's like, whew, I think that has to happen when it's... Dryer? Can I put shadows on the path? Maybe do that. It doesn't even have a tutorial for that. What color am I supposed to use? Looks like maybe a purplish blue? Purplish blue it is. Yeah, that would be good. What color is this? It's like a gray. Hmm. Let's add purple in that. And some blue. And I guess we'll use that as our shadow color. Well, just, we're just gonna guess. Are these trees supposed to have shadow? Paint stuff the branches. Oh, he has the dark green going to the... And I put the flowers there. That doesn't help. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Just have some shadows going this way. Let's put some back there. Some the front here. Shadows at the front of the path. Yeah. I guess I could try to move it. Ridiculousness. Ridiculousness. You wanted the green there, so you had to say put the green there. There, we fix it. It's fixed, right? That's how you fix it. You just add more ugly green. That fixes everything. I'll just add more of this light green. Right there. Yeah. shadow right here. And it's going to be a dark one. Like that. There, we have some, some random shadows. Oh gosh. I guess this was supposed to be a shadow. Who knew? That look about right? That looks a little better. I think. Okay. So then we're gonna have to add some of the triggering like wispy bits. I don't have any wispy bits. Let's see if we can change this color again. Add more of this to it. What you got? That's like a drab olive green. That's blue. That's better. Okay. We can use that. Use other bits. Well, it's getting drier. Because we still have to do our like little blue trees going on. And then our kind of greenish ones. And then like one brown one they have like chilling here. Some details with the grass once it's dry, it looks like. It's very loose. Alright, let's try and peel these off because I think we can do that now. Remove the fluid with the tape in our case. Ah! 
Cool. That seemed to work out. Look like vaguely tree shapes. I would say that is successful. Successful. Okay, they did. Looks like they had some shadows. Like blue shadows. On their trees. Like a smaller brush. Shade it in. like a blue. How about this blue? Is this an acceptable shade in tree blue? I suppose that's fine. Um, okay. So like this side of it. Just stick my hand in the paint, why don't I? Always. Blue down the side of the tree. Got it. supposed to be kind of birch like trees I think let's just do like this bottom bit darker okay we have our, our blue shading on our trees I don't really have any branches on our trees because I didn't mask any out so they're gonna be very limbless trees <laughs> Looking pretty good, I think. I remember, keep it loose, keep it loose. Not really a lot of detail. Which is actually kind of surprisingly hard to do. <laughs> I guess maybe that's just me. Okay, we have little blue shadows. Like it said. Alright, what's next? Alright, paint the split bark at the bases of the tree. So like a darkish brown. Or like a bluish brown. Do they want a bluish brown? Can I add blue to my brown? How, how blue does this brown need to be? Like really? Really blue? I guess I want it to look kind of black. Pink much of a grass paler system like green and maybe too brush. Yeah, I didn't leave room for flowers. Um, okay. What if I do more of what's in here? That may work. Looks close to the color he's got in there. Alright, so you want this to be like down here. That's the idea. A lot at the bottom.
don't know who's supposed to outline that side at all. It just seems silly with, like, nothing on it, though. And just kind of up the side. Looks like. And a little bit up here, too. looks approximately like it. All right, another set. Here. Thick at the bottom. Thinner towards the top. Kind of a nut. <gasps> hey Zara, what an interesting painting. Hey Mocap, how's it going, guys? Yeah, I found a book actually at Half Price Books, and it's like how to draw like little watercolor scenes. So we're doing a step by step like little tutorial. It's not gonna quite look like that, but we're trying to learn something new. So we shall see. We had to skip a couple steps. <laughs> Because this is not dry. <laughs> but so far, I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely not something I would have like thought of to do myself just because it's done differently than I usually paint, you know? But it was interesting. I really wanted to try it. And it's good to learn. Any of you guys had any fun art projects this weekend? Okay, so this is still pretty wet. This is getting kind of dry. We might be able to paint what we need to on there. And we added captions. I added captions to the stream. They seem to be working pretty well. I kind of want to add more. We'll do details to the, the ground, I think, here in a little bit. But I think this is dry enough for me to paint on, so we're going to go back a couple steps. There was this part that had like a little bit of like bluish green going on for like background trees. What did I use for captions? There's a website called webcaptioner.com and you can uh, play with the colors and stuff. So I made mine match like the about section on the bottom, bottom half of the screen. This to be mostly blue, actually. Like that. No, more blue. Here, just give me this. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay, and that says put little itty bitty ones in the little misty background area. They didn't really leave a misty background area, so we're gonna call that this. <laughs> and they just kind of go up. I feel like this is too bright. You seem too bright, tree. Yeah, maybe a little more green will make you seem a little less crazy. Have you ever used captions mocap in a stream? I saw some of the artists that I watched doing it. It seemed like a good idea, so figured why not give it a try. There, that looks a little more misty. 
misty background tree. I don't know how many misty background trees I'm supposed to put. Just, I'm just gonna go for it. Misty background trees. Come here, little background trees. Oops, I think I made like two identical trees. Oops. <laughs> That's alright. Doing like. Because we have another color, I think, to add. Which have more green in them. Is that enough? Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Do they need more branches? Maybe like a few? Hmm. I don't. It would be nice if I could caption it and translate to English. Oh. English isn't your primary language. I think this webcaptioner.com might have different languages. So you might actually be able to do that. All right, and then this one said to use like an olive green and a little bit of blue. So let's take this one. Let's try that color. Maybe more blue? These are supposed to be different than that. Let's try that, I guess. Um, okay, so they have one over like here. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous about all these trays. They're supposed to be like middle of the road tree. So it has to be a little bigger. Translation between languages web capture currently doesn't oh oh not in real time. Well that's too bad, I'm sorry. I'm not sure. There's gotta be something. But yeah, I guess that might be kinda hard. AI are getting so smart nowadays, you'd think there'd be be something out there that could help. I'm sure they'll they'll come up with one eventually, right? Hi, socks. What's going on, little cutie? I see you over there thinking, of, "Hey, don't step on my paper." Ah, you're gonna bend it. Paper's hard to come by around these parts. Pesky, pesky kitty. I mean, I did just get new paper, but that doesn't mean you can destroy the old paper. I still want to use it. I did move my camera, so hopefully I don't stick my face in it quite as much. <laughs> Seeing this support translate already translate caption. I'm trying to Google. Oh, Google Meet? Oh. So that does it already? That's cool. I didn't know that. I haven't had to use such a thing before. Um, I had a job working with international people, but they, you know, impressively all spoke English. <laughs> Whereas no one in our office <laughs> spoke English. <laughs> the guy was talking English and it was captioned in Spanish. Oh, that's cool. That's so impressive. No, maybe I'm easily impressed, but that's really cool. All right, let's see. Let's do one over here. Give me more green in you. Uh oh. 
Angry Kitty wants his dinner. <laughs> How do we feel about this style, guys, compared to the other stuff I've been doing? It's definitely been interesting. Is that enough of those trees? Because they want a bigger one. They want some of those brown in them, it looks like. Okay, we did some of those. So now they want more brown. We do have some dark brown. Just use the stuff I've been plopping on the top. <laughs> I like this a lot. <laughs> it is more of like a professional watercolor. <laughs> it's hard to do though. It's weird to try and think like that. <laughs> At least for me. Okay, so then these ones are more brown. Okay. I did have a cool idea. I saw a lady incorporating cut paper into her watercolors, and I really like cut paper. That's actually what's behind my head <laughs> that I don't I did a very long time ago. Um, so I thought that actually might be good to try, since it is something I have done before. be kind of cool to incorporate into what I'm doing now. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Trailering might have not been the best idea, but it's okay. Alright, what does he do for this? He's really excited about this big tree he's got going on. Okay. It's like right through the middle. I just start it in this like light brown color we got going on here. No, you can't see that. I'm fond of this like green blue brown thing. Let's see. Add a bit of that. It just fades though. I can't see it very well. Maybe because this isn't all the way dry. That might be why. Well, I wasn't patient enough to let it dry all the way. <laughs> this is a multi layer project for sure. Vaguely tree shape. <laughs> Go like around. 
I'm so bad at doing like the little like squiggly branches and things. I always want to make them too smooth. In real life, they're kind of just weird angles and things. And I'm like, no, they have to be pretty. <laughs> Alright, should we let that dry maybe a bit? And we'll see if I can add a bit more detail. Skip around again. Get some more grass stuff going on here. Alright, so. Oh, I want the little um little square brush. Let's see if I have one in my carrier that I got. Let's see. And for anyone who's interested, I actually made a little por portfolio of all my art on DeviantArt, and it is linked in the little About Me section below. Alright, let's see, do I have kind of flat-ish brush? No, that could work. That could work. We'll try it. Such a cute little case. Oh, Tricky and I started watching Vikings Valhalla last night. It was actually pretty good. I don't know if it's a sequel to a show called Vikings or something, but we're, we've been enjoying it. I think we will definitely watch more. That sucks. I think we watched two episodes last night. I'm not sure why it censored things. We watched Vikings Valhalla and it was very good. We watched two episodes last night. Captions, behave yourselves. Watching you. No, oh, but this doesn't do the... Oh, it doesn't, it's like dry. I'm not sure this is gonna do what I want. Hmm. It's just... This kind of working? Maybe it needs, like, longer bristles? Hmm. Hmm. Check out Deviant Art. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, the watercolors are so small, so that like when you blow it up on the screen, they don't look quite as nice. <laughs> Haven't seen Vikings. Just watch The Highwaymen. Story of Bonnie and Clyde. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Is that a good time? Sounds like a good time. Oh, I'm such a silly. Let's see. Maybe if I go like this way, that looks a little better. <laughs> My cat is just like yowling in the background. Mom, I'm starving. You're not starving. You're fine. This is why I generally stream earlier. <laughs> but I wanted to go to yoga this morning. <laughs> He's such a goof. <laughs> so dramatic. It's withering away to nothing. Mother doesn't love me. <laughs> I 
are you, are you withering away to nothing? Yes, mother doesn't love you enough to feed you every two seconds. How dare. How could you, mother? Alright, that looks grashish. Grashish. Uh... It was interesting because of the historical accuracy of the town's cars close in time. Oh, they were spot on? That's awesome. That means they had a good ca costume department, right? And the costume department actually had a budget. <laughs> oh, I think our music is done. Oh, no, it's okay. Good. I think that might be as good as I can get this grass. Oh, that was not the grain I wanted. Get out of here. Not this green. Which, um, streaming service was that show on, Zara? I wonder if it's one that we have. You never know, right? <laughs> I must feel like I should add more purple. Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have Netflix. Maybe after we finish our, our Vikings, we can go watch that one. Oh, I like that much better. Can't help. I always want to put, like, more details in things. It's like, no, no. Leave it just as a wash. But... But how do you know it's flowers if it's just purple wash? Doesn't it have to have something going on? I think it has to have something going on. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. See, that's so much cuter. And I thought I got rid of that Pokemon game. Here, let's take a look at that, shall we? You. What? Yes. What? <laughs> really? Is that so? You tell Mother all about it. You tell Mother. Hey, don't scratch at my thank you though. Yeah, I, it's not on there anymore. There. Maybe maybe that one'll go away. Now that it's been officially uninstalled. Ooh, pesky. Was I using this one? Oh boy. Oh, I was like, what's that highlighted message? Oh, that's my YouTube thing. <laughs> scare myself with my own message. I'll make that a little bit darker because it's pretty light. bitty flowers everywhere. So that makes everybody's life happy, is tiny flowers. Oh, so much better. Okay. I'm pleased with my decision. <laughs> Quite pleased. There we go. Get in there. Dog whining. Hi, boyfriend. You wanna come see? That's oh, alright. You wanna come see? Yeah. I'm changing a few things. Uh, 
How you doing? Uh, okay, so that's kind of the idea. And we got okay. there. It's not bad. That's pretty good. Pretty it's good. Not, it's not bad. How's had... everyone doing? Oh, it's fine. There's not too many people in here. Zara and Mocap. My, my regulars are here. Um, I want to... These were a little wet when I painted them, so we're going to go over that again. And he's being a menace because somebody wants dinner. I know. Yeah. He's being a menace to me, too. Extra mouths. All the extra kitty mouths. Oh, look at that nimbus. I know. He likes to come in here and nap while I'm painting. He's so cute. That sweet, sweet nimbus boy. That sweet, sweet nimbus. Over here napping. Doing kitty naps. <laughs> Scream! Father! Feed me! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Don't trip on the cord, you're there. No bowl in China shop, please. What I am. <sighs> everyone, meet Tricky. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm going to take Lulu out. And then okay. I'm going to... I beat Godric. Oh, you did? But I had... He's been I... playing Elden Ring. Found out how to get the mug. Oh, you did? You found out how to get to him? Yeah. That'll be cool. No, all of our cats aren't boys. We have two boys and two girls. <laughs> And a dog. <laughs> the three of them are related. We had a, a mama that had some babies, so we kept the mom, two of the babies. <laughs> hello, Tricky. Zara says hello. <laughs> and then I had a cat my, of my own when I moved to Texas. <laughs> oh, I see the dog zooming outside the window. He's been playing some Elden Ring. It's very exciting. I love watching Elden Ring playthroughs. So I convinced him that he should play it. My Xenohydrate didn't wake up my Xeno. <gasps> Why he no hydrate? Let's try a treat. And a treat. <gasps> He's stuck sleeping. Oh, the sad. Oh, there he goes. Now he woke up. <laughs> Alright, so I think the only thing left I want to do is fix this blobby tree, but I gotta wait till it's dry. That's not gonna work. This did not take quite as long as I had anticipated. Oh, and then we have to do the. Um, there's like a last dabbled like leaves over the, these guys here. Elden Ring has beautiful scenery and scary bosses. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I I own the game too, and I play it a, like a little bit. I haven't played it in a while. But what I did mostly was just ride around and enjoy the scenery and avoid the bosses. <laughs> but I've definitely been backseat helping when he plays. No, paint why. Some people are so good at FromSoft games, it's crazy. I'm always very impressed. <laughs> That's what you do? You run around and avoid the bosses too? <laughs> I was able to go, there's like this one dragon you can like kill when you're a low level because you like stand behind him and oops. And there's a cat in my lap. There's his socks. He wants his dinner. Mother, feed me. Feed me, mother. Don't tell your father to feed you. He's done streaming. I'm painting. <laughs> Get out of here, you pesky boy. Occasionally try to fight a boss. Still have lots to learn. Oh my gosh, me too. And I haven't played it in a while, so I'd have to like figure out how to use the controller again. We plugged one of the PS5 controllers into the PC. Because I tried it with uh, mouse and keyboard, which is usually what I do for games, and it was so hard. So cute kitty, yeah. Our peskiest boy. <laughs> the other one is napping peacefully in front of me. He's like, nah, I'm chill. I'll wait for dinner. Whenever you're done, Mom. It's fine. And Sox is like, no, it must be now. It must be now, there is no letter. I guess I could go over the, um, with the leaf while I'm waiting for that tree to dry a little bit so we can try to fix them up a tad. Ugh. 
Yeah, see if I have... I did make tricky emotes of all of our... I don't know how to... Oh, here we go. I made tricky emotes of all of our pets. Oh, yeah, okay. Lottie, Nimbus, Sox, Luna, and Lucy. So there's all of our pets. Yes, that was Sox. <laughs> One for each. Mao. Mother, feed me, mother. <laughs> okay, and the mouth of the leaves kind of big. How tall should they be? Let's see, they're kind of a medium. The gang of angels' pets, yep. Angel and tricky pets. <laughs> Those are the first things I made with the, the Wacom tablet that Tricky got me. <laughs> He's so sweet. Um, oh gosh, I don't know what color to use. Maybe this one? I feel like that would fade so much. I feel like it needs to be darker. I made the background kind of dark. Maybe this one. Oh, I just don't know. Here, okay, let's do the thing we start light and we work dark. So we'll do this one first. And then they kind of stand out like a lot. Angel and Tricky Spets, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the cats definitely have their favorites, that's for sure. And Lucy, the doggo, is definitely Tricky's doggo. Yeah, this is blending a lot. <laughs> That's okay. We'll add another darker color too. Maybe that would help. These are a weird one we made. That's pretty dark. Go over the same spots maybe. Help draw it out. Man, so much of painting is just like guesswork. <laughs> At least for me. Are you back, sir? I thought your father was feeding you. What happened? Why is Socks back? Why are you back, sir? He forget. He forget already. I know, I'm the one that usually feeds you. Sure, you're like, why would I go bug father? You feed me the dinner. I know that. There. Are you dry enough to mess around with yet? Maybe just a little bit. I don't know what you, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Hmm. Maybe it needs to be like with some some darker spots. Probably do that. Let's add some some dark darkness on the side. When in doubt, add darkness. Yeah, like some shadow. Come here, Brock. Here we go. And... Ooh, I continued my Lord of the Rings binging. Tricky and I watched the two towers, or at least half of the two towers the other day. Because we're watching it on our actual DVD box set. <laughs> We watched one of the discs. <laughs> we have to watch the other one. Hey, what are you doing to my to my stool, sir? Why? Why do you be that way? Really? 
No, Mr. Vaki. No, don't chew on that either. I won't lock you out. You keep misbehaving, sir. What a, what a bad, bad kitty. That's right, I said it sucks. You being a bad boy. I'm telling everybody. Being the baddest kitty. I'm kind of like that. That's fun. <sighs> Mother. <laughs> I'll do this too. So I got a little lost as well. Well, now we're just going off script. <laughs> there. It's not bad. I think I'm gonna call that good. Not too horrible for trying a new style of watercolor. You are still popping up, Pokemon game. You're like a virus. You will not go away. Shall we peel away the tape? That was a fun time. Not any tape kind of day. A lot of tape happening on this table. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Zara. <laughs> I do want to try my, my cut paper idea, though. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh-oh. Don't take the paper with you. Oh, I really like it when you peel it off and there's no leakage. It does look so much nicer with the little border. I don't hate it. I'll hate it. <laughs> okay, okay. It's definitely not exactly like the picture, but it is inspired by the picture. <laughs> just, for, just for reference. <laughs> here's mine. <laughs> and here's the picture. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Definitely inspired by. <laughs> Next time I'm going to have to try one of these. This is the other book that I got. This botanical one. I think this might be more like more my alley. It's like doing more like details on flowers. That sounds like a lot of fun. I want to try that. But we'll see. Ugh. Yeah. I think that's a okay enough to post a picture online somewhere. <laughs> We want to be an absolute disgrace. We're good. Alrighty, I think it's about that time. Should we take our, our one viewer and go raid somebody? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see who we can find who's on. Oh, this lady is so good. I want to read her. Oh, we have an ad. I don't know what she's doing right now. Um, should we wait? Yeah, 20 seconds. The pre-rolls are the worst. <laughs> but her art is absolutely beautiful. She does stuff in a ballpoint pen. Um, she sometimes does digital. Just everything she makes is absolutely adorable. I think they call her Snow. Oh, it looks like she's working on another ballpoint pen piece. It's so good. She's very good. So I hope you guys enjoy her as much as I do. <laughs> and thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today and trying something new. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, and thank you so much, Zilla, for the raid. Thank you, Zara and Mocap for popping on in saying hey. And I will hopefully see you on Tuesday. Bye! <laughs>